guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to exercise your dog indoors because it is so incredibly important that your dog gets exercise every single day. Yes, I said that every single day. That doesn't mean the four days on, three days off that you may do. It's seven days a week. Your dog needs exercise. So when we're stuck at home, <laughs> When we're stuck at home like we are now, or maybe just because it's super rainy outside, and it actually is super rainy outside today, and it was yesterday, or maybe it's really stinking hot and it's just you obviously don't want to put your dog in a position of heat exhaustion, and these things happen. Sometimes you are just stuck indoors, and you need to figure out how to exercise your dog. So, of course, there's the standard physical exercise that we can do and just run around the house, which we're gonna do right now. So of course you can run around the house and play and have fun with your dog and I highly encourage you to do that every day, but that's not going to be enough for all dogs. And for some dogs it may be enough, maybe for some older dogs, but especially if you have a young puppy or if you have a really super energetic dog or maybe a working dog, you need to do more. And one of the best ways to actually get your dog exercise is by using their brain. So one of the best things you can do is actually train with your dog. And you don't have to do this all day long. You can just do it 10 minutes at a time or 15 minutes at a time, maybe two, maybe three times a day if you're really into it. And why not? Because you and your dog should be having fun doing this. But we know that a tired dog is a good dog. And quite honestly, the majority of behavioral issues that dogs exhibit are because they're not getting enough exercise. So let's make sure we're giving them plenty of physical and mental exercise. And mental exercise is something that you can do no matter what the temperature is outside, or maybe even if you don't feel that great, or maybe if you're not having the best day and you don't wanna run around, maybe you have a sprained ankle or something and you can't run around mental exercise is gonna be your best friend and your dog's best friend. So do simple things like, you know, just basic behavioral cues. You can also do things like do fun tricks and teach your dog how to shake or, but let's, let's just, I'm gonna show you one right here. We're gonna do a simple leave it. And what we're doing, no matter what you're training with your dog, we're using their brain. And when they use their brain, they actually are using their whole body. Even though you can't see it, their brain is actually engaging their whole body. So it really tires them out really quickly. So the key with a good leave it is to have two different treats. We're gonna have a lower value treat to start with and a higher value treat. So I'm gonna put down a low value treat. I'm gonna say leave it. Yes, good job. And when she chooses to engage with me instead of the treat, I'm gonna give her a high value reward. I'm gonna take the lower value treat away. I'm gonna put another one down, leave it. Yes, good job. When she chooses to engage with me instead of the lower value reward, then you can actually be a little bit quicker about taking the low value treat away. So I'm gonna put a low value treat and say, leave it. Yes, good job. 
So this is gonna come in really handy when you, there's actually something you don't want your dog to be engaging with. So we're just gonna practice this and you can practice this with all kinds of objects. You can practice this with toys. So let's see, for Kim, this is a lower value toy and this is a higher value toy. So I'm gonna say, leave it. Yes, good job, good job, good job. Well, she's in food mode right now because I didn't feed her yet before we did this video because I wanted her to engage with the food. So she's in food mode right now, but you get the idea. You can take a lower value toy and a higher value toy and do the same thing. Maybe not at the same time, like I'm, I just showed you here, maybe at different times, uh, not when your dog is in food mode. So I'm gonna again take a lower value treat, leave it. Yes, good job, good job. Leave it. Yes, good job. So we can just practice this with our dogs. Another thing that we can do is practice tricks. If your dog is really awesome at obedience already, or you know maybe you just get tired of training obedience and you wanna uh, work things change things up and make things more exciting and more fun, we can train fun things with our dog. Or maybe you wanna train something like an up. So we're down on the ground here, I'm gonna say up. Yes, good job. And it's okay if it takes a few minutes, let your dog think it through. She's thinking about what am I asking of her and do I wanna do that? Right? So the possibility of a yummy reward on the other end, good job, you wanna do a down? The possibility of a yummy reward on the end as she's working that through her brain, she's like, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. So it's okay if it takes them a minute, just give them a minute, don't constantly say up, 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 that doesn't work. That's not gonna help her process and think through what you want her to do, or him if you have a boy dog. So let's try a down. Down? Yes, good job! And these are kind of simple things that you can do and train with your dog. These are things that I haven't really trained with her very much. I mean, we do let her come up on the couch with us, but we haven't really formally trained an up or a down. So these are just fun things that you can train with your dog. And once you and your dog get really proficient at what you're doing, you can move on to maybe more difficult tasks or more difficult tricks and find and especially when we have all this time at home, you'll be absolutely amazed at the, all the wonderful things that you and your dog can actually do. All right, guys, so I hope that inspires you to exercise your dog, even though you may be stuck indoors, whether it's because we're self-quarantining or because we have really crappy weather outside. and make sure you hit that subscribe button and become part of Pet Parent Nation. We are creating a movement here. Join Pet Parent Nation by hitting that subscribe button and let the world know that you are a pet parent, not just a pet owner. We are making a huge difference in our pets' lives by becoming parents and not just owners. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button again, become part of Pet Parent Nation and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in our next video. Thanks for watching, Pet Parent. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.
training your dog, especially with training. The link is in the description. It's the seven miracle steps. Grab yourself a copy. You and your dog will be so happy you did. Again, thank you so much for being here with me and I will see you in the next video.